this course is to provide an overview of high-speed downlink packet access, or HSDPA. Upon completion of this course, the student will be able to recognize the motivation for HSDPA, discuss key concepts of HSDPA, describe HSDPA system architecture, explain new HSDPA channels, illustrate the HSDPA data transmission, describe how mobility and power control are handled in HSDPA, and present an end-to-end -end call flow. In this topic, we will define HSDPA, discuss packet data characteristics, recognize the motivation for HSDPA, identify HSDPA in the UMTS evolution path, summarize the characteristics of HSDPA, and present a high-level view of HSDPA data transmission. HSDPA stands for High Speed Downlink Packet Access. How did it get that name? HSDPA provides peak data rates of 14 megabits per second in the downlink. Therefore, it is considered high speed. The focus of HSDPA is only on the downlink. It does not alter the peak data rate on the uplink. HSDPA is designed exclusively for packet data. It does not interfere with circuit switch voice or data services. The HSDPA solution is primarily a radio access solution. The impact on the core network is minimal, while significant enhancements are made to the radio interface. Let's visit our friend Max Mobile, an executive at Futureland Electronics. Max is traveling on a train and is contacted by his colleague to preview a presentation for an important customer. Max establishes a connection to his office's enterprise network and chooses a web link to download the multimedia presentation. This starts a streaming video session to his mobile phone and he provides feedback using an electronic whiteboard. Data traffic of streaming applications is asymmetric. In other words, traffic rates in both directions are not the same and there is no correlation between different rates. When Max downloads a video, there is a lot of information being downloaded to his phone, but very little information is sent up to the server. HSDPA is designed to address the asymmetric data services where a significant amount of data transfer occurs in the downlink, but a relatively small amount of data transfer occurs in the uplink. Initial UMTS, or Universal Mobile Telecommunication System, deployments are based on Release 99. HSDPA is a Release 5 feature. Another Release 5 feature is the IP Multimedia Subsystem. IP Multimedia Subsystem is a core network system that allows for a variety of multimedia services. Point the arrow to a specific release to see the basic features provided by a given release. HSDPA utilizes exactly the same bandwidth as Release 99 of the UMTS system. Both Release 99 users and HSDPA users can share the same RF bandwidth. HSDPA supports both voice and data users in the same bandwidth simultaneously. Voice users utilize Release 99 channels, while HSDPA-capable UEs are able to use either a high-speed HSDPA channel or a medium-speed Release 99 channel. HSDPA supports the maximum peak user data rate of 14 megabits per second on the downlink. HSDPA reuses Release 99 core network architecture and does not introduce any new network component. HSDPA is fully backward compatible with Release 99. In other words, a Release 99 UE can obtain services in a cell that supports HSDPA. Similarly, an HSDPA capable UE can work in a Release 99 capable cell.
let's take a look at how downlink data transmission occurs in an HSDPA system. This is a high level view. All the UEs, or user equipment, in a cell send the channel quality reports to the node B. The node B scheduling algorithm looks at the channel quality reports and many other factors such as available resources and chooses one or more users for high-speed transmission. Since the node B schedulers have chosen UE1, data is transmitted to UE1 on the high-speed downlink channel. A separate downlink channel sends the supporting control information that indicates how to interpret the high-speed channel. After UE1 receives the packet on the high-speed channel, it sends an ACK to the node B if decoding has been successful. Otherwise, UE1 sends a NAC to the node B. Steps 1 through 4 are repeated continuously. Let's compare peak user data rates and average cell throughputs for Release 99 and HSDPA. The peak downlink data rate in Release 99 is 2 megabits per second, while the average cell throughput is around 300 to 400 kilobits per second. The peak downlink data rate in HSDPA is 14 megabits per second, while the average cell throughput is expected to be around 1 to 6 megabits per second. But how about the uplink situation? The peak uplink data rate in Release 99 is 2 megabits per second, which is the same as the peak downlink data rate. The average cell throughput in the uplink is around 300 to 400 kilobits per second. Since HSDPA does not influence the uplink data rates, its uplink performance is similar to the performance of Release 99.